good size golden Chinese wells. It's gotta be around 20 inches. This is my baby over here. I had to put them over here because um, I wanted to treat them. So, and a smaller tank was a lot easier. And probably next, we're going to New Jersey, what, Friday? Come back on Monday, so probably Monday, I'll put them in the 3,000 gallon. Because this tank is small for him. He's, he needs his big home. Down here, we have albino and regular channel cats, different sizes. And everybody's already on the website. Over here, we have a couple of the blue-eyed plecos left, the blue-eyed panaki. Some golden nuggets. And, yeah, that yellow, there's a really yellow, look at this one right here. Look at the size of that guy. You see it? Yeah, look how big that is. It's huge. Look at the size of this L24. Look how pretty that is. Even with no light, this color is still great. So these guys, I'm doing a test with them, so I'm not, I'm not gonna put them for sale because they used to be yellow. I wanna take some time and treat them to see if they're gonna come back to yellow. We have two large L25s in there. The one that's facing the back was really, really pretty. Up here we have the tiger parrots. We got a lot of them stock. Really cool fish. And then we have the African cichlids. There's a flower horn right there. And these guys, all the Sumatra detonoids. It's so crazy that when they acclimate, the colors actually come out really pretty. But otherwise, they all get to this color. Making me look bad, brothers. Making me look bad. Over here, babe, which I don't know if you're gonna reach, there's another big Fajaca, really pretty one. You see it? And on this side, there's a beautiful MBU puffer. Like his markings are amazing. Look how pretty that is. Right? Yeah. So that guy is ready to go. Down here we have the Harlequin Cats, the Chinese Banded Catfish, and the Giant Carps. We have this monster size Motoro. That's a male, big male Motoro, flower horn. These are not the Comfas, these are the Super Dragon, Red Dragon, right? And then all these L56, like I said, we have some all yellow and some yellow and black ones. You know, the flower horns are funny because once they arrive, it takes a little bit of time for them to get back to the beautiful shape. This guy right here is getting already there. His body, his, his hump, everything is looking normal on him. These are the red tiger parrots, and then we have yellow eggnog parrots as well. Everybody's ready to go. And down here, that guy is ready to go. And we have some more parrots. All right. The Chinese, uh-oh. That big one just ate a smaller one. Can you see it? Yeah, what a jerk. That's a uh, blue tie silk. I say by Monday, he should be ready to go. Over here we have, oh yeah, we just re rescued that clown knife. Yet. No, he's pretty. He's not gonna be for sale. Oh. And then we have the L24s. Very hard to see. And then that flower horn that came in a little bit beat up, but hopefully with time he'll heal up. Everybody's sleeping in this tank. Okay.
Here we have a couple of the Pure Evas left, Vailanti. A couple more of the L25s. Really pretty. Now here there's another MBU, a Wallagoo, and some type of Gobi. I don't know, can you zoom in on this face? It's a really crazy looking Gobi. Look at that. Pretty cool fish as well. And we have a couple more Piraibas from a smaller one to some larger ones. And I think that's it, babe. That's uh, that's everything. Did we? Sh oh no, we didn't show these right here. We didn't show this whole side. I don't think. Look at this. That's a that's a different L27. This is the uh, Jingu one with the thicker lines. Really pretty fish as well. That's one I would definitely put in my tank. Very. And you got this L25 right here. Look how red he is. Yeah. The Papua New Guinea sharks, we sold a lot of them, but we still have a lot left. Uh, and don't forget guys, everything's a 10% into Monday. We have albino arowanas. Slightly smaller size. Right? Yeah, they're smaller on the other side, but they're actually very white. Super white. Yeah, very good quality on them. A little nugget there. Little flower horn. And two Johanna pikes. I believe they're a pair. And I think that's it. So if you guys see anything you like, we do have a couple more smaller Chinese wells or golden Chinese wells. Just go to the website, www.predatoryfans.com. Everything's gonna be there, I promise. If not, Lisa's gonna get in trouble with the boss, but she's the boss, I don't know. And we do have Peru and Colombia coming in next week, okay? So if you guys see any of those fish you want, if you are low in funds and you want us to work something out, you know, just, just give me a call. I, I'm cool with everybody. You know, I don't, I don't tell nobody. Just let me know. But bother my secretary. She answer the phone. Say, hey, um, tell Rod I'll, I'll give him an offer on this guy. Tell her what it is, and we'll go from there. All right? If you guys, like I said, anything you like, just go to the website, and we'll see you in the next video because we do have to move those two peacocks, and we do have to move Palmer to the 3,000 gallons. Oh, but real quick, real quick. Oh, I talk too much, I know. We decided, oh here, we decided to name the shark, okay? Is it less cloudy? No. We decided to name the shark Doc. because it's a nurse shark. It's a doctor, you know, sounds silly, but yeah. But also to represent all the doctors and nurses that have been working through this hard time to keep all of us alive and well and safe. So I believe that would be the best thing for him due to the occasion and um, the name itself. You know, he's a nurse shark. So I think doctor would be the best case scenario. What do you think? Doc, yeah. Doc. Let's feed Doc and let you guys go. I don't know, but these guys will get it first probably. That Colbert is oh, he's vicious. Good. He's gonna smell it and he's gonna come. But look, he's probably gonna take all three. Watch, watch, ready? He's getting a little shy because he saw the camera. Don't take it, don't take it, you ah. jerk. Look, see, took one. Where's Doc? And what he did is he went in there in between the rocks and moved everything around. So now it's a big mess. I gotta get in there and try to fix it. Look, the eel is out. Oh, got here, here, look, look. Got it. He's right, oh, you see, got it, oh, okay. Let's just put a couple more over here, like in front of the window, and see if we can see it from the bottom. Look, look, the eel is out. Oh, there's the eel. Oh, yeah, see, it's getting bigger. Damn, the eel grew so much. It looked like they're friends, like, I thought the other day the shark was gonna get it, but no, look, it looked like they're friends. Boom, got it. Oh, eel got it, see ya. Now he's going to get it. There's more. One, two, three. He's a beast. 
Look, now the year once more. I think, little by little, this, this tank right here is probably going to be one of my favorites. But let me know what you guys thought about the name. I think it's a great name for him. And if, like I said, if you see anything you want on the website, just let us know. All right? Besides that, it's late and we have to go home. See you next time.